not that fresh. Yeah, I guess you're right. Want a sip of my haterade? Yeah, you pass me a jelly sickle. Fresh white teeth, pretty cat on me. Keep my bits on clean. I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep my shine on. Fresh white teeth, pretty cat on me. Keep my bits on clean. I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep my shine on. Fresh white teeth, pretty cat on me. Welcome back to Rep361 Texas. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit the like button. Today, we're going to be putting a Rockford Fosgate shallow mount R2 into my Ram 1500. For those of y'all like myself that have the crew cab, have the same pesky problem that I do. So when you fold this down and you fold this down, there is actually no way to drop the back seat down to where you can get to the back firewall and of course you have compartments here and everything it's real nice for storage of course i got my mcguire's leather care for my seats in there also mcguire's makes a really good uh interior detailer that is just amazing i love the hell out of it uh superior products come out with another one i'm willing to try here pretty soon let me know how that one works if you've already used it so anyway today we're going to work on installing that rockford in that shallow box behind my rear seat um, I haven't checked the clearances yet, but if you haven't seen already, this box is really slim. It's really thin. It's a really thin box. So I'm hoping that I can squeeze that in behind the seat. Now I made the box myself. I installed the subwoofer in the box myself. Everything's done myself. Um, and I'm also going to mod this rear seat. The main reason for this video is not how to install a sub. I don't really do that on a daily basis. My thing is little, little random mods for these trucks. So Anyway, like I said, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have tons of content on small mods and all the mods I've done on this truck and some other trucks. But today we're going to work on making this seat do what it should have done from factory, which is being able to pull it from the firewall so you can get back behind it, clean, install stuff. Like I said, I'm going to try to hide a subwoofer behind it so I can keep my bottom compartments here. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I'm going to get started in pulling this seat out at least and start looking into where I'm going to run my right wires and everything for my amp. Just hang tight. Let's get after it. All right. So the first thing you're going to need is some sort of ratchet and some sort of socket. Uh, the socket size for my specific truck is three quarter. And we're going to go ahead and remove these four bolts here in the corners. So... One of these electric ratchets like the one I have isn't very expensive and they're extremely handy, especially when you remove these bolts because most seat bolts have a tendency to be tough to remove because of all the adhesive that's around them from the carpeting. Instead of doing this forever, you just push the button. Voila. Now, my battery is almost dead on mine, so, and the sad part is, I don't have a charger here, so I may be doing it the old-fashioned way before this is all over. You probably can't see in behind that seat. You're probably looking at my arm, but we're going to go ahead and pull all four of these, all right, guys? So pull all four. There's two back in the back there. If you have the, uh, like, the 70-30, like what I do, or I don't know what they call this, maybe a 75-25, whatever this ratio rear seat is, you'll have eight bolts. So four for the uh, little pilot seat here and four for the big bench there. So you gotta get all eight to be able to get this full setup out, which is what I'm going to do. That way I can get to the rear firewall. Of course, this one's gonna be the hardest. For this one, the one that holds your seat belts in, it's best to have an extension. because the way the seat belt is back in there, there it is, all right. And we'll just leave that one in there because it's got a little keeper. See that keeper there? We're just gonna leave that keeper on. And that's it, you can pull, you can successfully pull your seat. Now when you, when you pull these seats, this is part of the mod I'm going to do. You lift up and then pull out because the way this attaches to the rear firewall, it's got a couple of hooks. So we're gonna lift up, pull out. And there it is. All right, so we got one out. I'm gonna go ahead and charge the GoPro up a little bit while I remove the other one and start looking into this rear seat mod. All right, so once you get your back seats out, which I've already gotten one out and one back in, I've already got my subwoofer back there. And I am a bit of a base head because I had to move and remove a few things to get that subwoofer in there. So anyway, yeah. 
I did it for the base. This vent, I'm not too worried about, but the one on the other side is gonna have my amplifier underneath it. So I might do something with the vent on that side. But this is your finished product. Let me show you what we're looking at here. So once you get your rear seat back installed, what you wanna do is actually leave it unhooked from your firewall on the back, which I'm gonna show you how to unhook it now that I've done it. So there you go. What you wanna do is actually leave it unhooked from the firewall. That way you can do this mod right here. And what I've done is I've cut these hooks down. You can tell I kind of got into the seat a little bit, but I cut them with a uh, grinder. And what ends up happening is now you can't latch the seat, but what you do is you pick it up about halfway at a 45 degree angle and push it down. There we go. I'm sorry, it took two hands to do it. Uh, you can do it with one hand, but it's kind of hard when you're holding the camera, you know? But yeah, so that's how it goes. So whenever you're ready to get into your rear firewall axis, you can see this is nice and sturdy, just like factory. I'm shaking my whole truck and body. Get it about a 45 degree angle, just like so. Grab here. Wait, I don't have it much. There we go. And that's how it is. And you can see my amplifier down in there. It's an ugly amplifier. But yeah, you can see these vents are directly above that amplifier. And not much water comes in there. They're meant to keep water from coming in, but when you're driving down the highway or you got some cabin pressure, these little baffles inside open up and water is allowed to come in. So I might take care of that, I might not. I did have to remove the uh, insulation, the sound deadening on the back firewall, which I don't think is gonna make a huge difference because you got this thick old seat here. And I also had to do a little mod to my rear window regulator to get that box up in there like i said i didn't quite do my homework i think the whole idea of that box was about three hours long but yeah so like i said you get your seat up at about a 45 degree angle you do it like that boom nice and solid nice and solid so you might be wondering where exactly do you cut those hooks because you have a one shot at this i've already got this one prepped i wanted to show you on this one where i'm going to be cutting it so what you want to do is you see this plastic tab here you want to actually cut about an eighth inch higher than that plastic tab. You can use a tape measure or some sort of tape to measure up an eighth of an inch and make your line there. You want to cut on the bottom side of that line. Let's go ahead and get this one cut and get this one reinstalled so we can make sure my subwoofer is actually going to clear. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, the sad part is, is I had to lose the use of the children's seat belt in the center which is fine because you know your child can sit on that side or that side and uh, I prefer she sits on this side just because of the base you know just raise them right you know what I mean so raise them right you know get that base right behind your children the best thing I use is the orbital grinder if you got some sort of reciprocating saw that it'll get in there that's fine uh, but what you want to do is get like I said just about an eighth inch above it it's pretty important that you don't go too far because then your seat will never latch but here we go You can see that uh, piece fell down there. All right, so I'm gonna tape this up just like I taped the other one. Uh, the reason why I use tape is because I work for a uh, industrial INE company and uh, good old, good old Scott's 33 is not short around me. So anyway, now the best, I mean, you could probably super glue it or something or some sort of JB weld kind of weld this plastic up just to keep it from getting in the way by accident. But what I'm using is good old electrical tape. I know this isn't the best probably probably process maybe you know if you're real crazy you could take the whole seat apart edit the bracket with some sort of machine and uh you know put it back in later but this right here is going to work good so i did get into the seat cushion again but you're never going to see it unless you fold the back seat down to show people hey i cut this cushion here you know these are aftermarket leather seat covers anyway these are actually badass these are by cat skin and i tell you what you can't even tell that they're aftermarket the truck originally had cloth interior and uh, the dealership actually rewrapped them with cat skin i'm gonna wipe this seat down make sure i get all the metal shavings off of it and i'm gonna stick it back in maybe you wouldn't want to uh have a stowaway pistol or shotgun back here you know that's what a lot of people have been doing this mod for and then now i can put this up got to be real careful it's not going to hit the sub i think it's going to be all right though all right let's go ahead and get this rear seat put back in jesus this thing's a monster for one person these little seats are actually pretty heavy Ugh. so 
Sorry about the, all the dad noises. I really, 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 really hope this subwoofer clears and everything else behind it. Because I really want base in my truck. I want I want to call it the the Bam Slammed Cam Dram one day. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, so seems like it's fitting good so far. Kind of. And that is the conclusion of the rear seat mod for the Ram 1500. Slight disclaimer, okay? Now, it, I did run into a lot of problems because I'm stuffing a subwoofer behind the seat right here. Okay, so other than that, if you're just looking to store things, um, I don't know, whatever you're looking to do, as long as it's not very big, you can put it behind the seat. Now me, I'm trying to go for a subwoofer. I'm trying to get the max capacity I can out of the box behind the rear seat. That way I still have my storage on bottom. So it does, which I have to kind of play with it. It does still fold down and it will fold all the way down. But of course I've got this big old box in here so it, it, it ain't got much room to play. You know what I mean guys? So that's what we're dealing with. It's nice and tight and it looks like it's gonna work as long as the seat's up. You don't want to base it with the seat down. It's nice and smooth. The other side is a lot smoother because I didn't stuff a gigantic subwoofer and box behind it. This one you just lift up, I say about 45 degrees, pull it down, boom. Okay, and then I got my amplifier and stuff in there, which I'm fixing to get started on wiring up. So anyway, guys, backseat mod for Ram 1500s may work on other particular Rams. It will work on pretty much any Ram that doesn't fold down the rear seat like this. I need to clean all this up now that I'm done with it. But that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like button. The like button's a big one. And uh, we'll catch you next time, guys. Rep 361 Texas, we're out. Yeah. <laughs>